hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel let build it so in today's tutorial i bring you a very new uh, tutorial about the loti animations so i will show you how you can implement this kind of uh, you know animations very easily in your application and it is very quick uh, implementation so you don't have to do lots of thing uh, i will show you maybe most of the people uh, know about the loti animations but uh, if you don't know then this tutorial is for you so there is a loti animation website that is i guess from the uh, airbnb yeah so the loti animation uh, website is uh, from airbnb so when you click on this website you will redirect it to the, this page and uh, you can see there are lots of free animations developed by uh, developed by many developers around the world so what you have to do you can uh, search from the recent populars and the categories different categories so you can see there are lots of animations they are already created and uh, you can use them in your application there are thousands of uh, like animations on this website and uh, the be uh, best thing about this loti animation is uh, you don't have to write so much code and uh, it is very uh, lightweight because you can when you click on any animation so it will give you option for uh, like convert to gif download as a json so we will use it uh, as a json uh and you can also customize this animation here there are lots of options so these options will be available only after you log in okay uh so i have downloaded some jsons i will show you uh so this kind of animations I have already downloaded this JSON file. These are two uh, different JSON files. One is uh, for background, and one is for like this success uh, success view. Okay, so let's get started. I will show you how you can implement it in your application. So we will create a new project here for the iOS, and it will be an app. Click on next. uh give it a name maybe a uh, loti demo okay you can give any organizer identifier here for example this i'm creating it on the desktop all right so you will see this kind of uh, view here oh sorry i think i have created a swift ui project you don't have to create a swift ui project if uh, you don't know the swift ui you can simply use the ui kit app <coughs> so let me create it again load it demo make sure you will select from here interface storyboard life cycle ui kit app delegate yeah i am on xcode 12 so i think that's why i'm uh, seeing this another option here life cycle uh, if you are using the xcode 11 then you might not see this click on the next and create all right so we have our initial project here okay now what you have to do just initialize the pod cocoa pod into it so i'm dragging and dropping it on the terminal uh, typing the pod in it so it will basically create a pod file here in which we can uh, define our pods so you can see it is the text file now uh, just search the loti animation github or loti github ios 
I will mention the this GitHub link as well on the description of this video. So you can see uh, this is the pod for implementing the Loti animation in your application. So you have to install this pod. So just go on here, copy this line and paste it in your uh, pod text file. Click save and then run pod install. It is getting installed and then we will see here uh, the XC workspace file here. So we will use that one. Yeah, this one. Let's close it and close this one as well because we don't need the XC work uh, XC project there. One second. Yeah. Let me build it. To see if it is uh, building or not yeah it built successfully that means uh, our pod is uh, ready to go now what you have to do is uh, we will create some I'm not going to use the storyboard uh, so I will create uh, some view here. Lazy word background uh, animation view. So something like this. Then I will type animation. Oh, sorry. I need to import the Lottie framework here in terms to use the animation view. animation view equal to animation view we will initialize it uh, something like this without any parameters okay now i will add it on the main view okay now i will add the constraint to it uh, but first uh, before adding the constraint we need to mark this property as a false otherwise your constraint won't work so first I will add the top anchor and I will add it uh, to views top anchor and don't forget to activate it otherwise it will it will also not work so it is a bit tricky thing uh, like if you forget to activate equal to true then your constraint might not work and just to remove this uh, that error we are getting here uh, let me return the animation view and then i will write the constraints write constraint equal to views write constraint is active true animation view dot left anchor constraint to views left anchor so basically we are uh, attaching this animation view to edge to edge of the main view so it will cover the whole screen bottom anchor constraint equal to view dot bottom anchor is active true so this is the background animation view okay so uh, now I will add a function here. I will create it a private function. Private function. I will write the name play background animation. Something like this. Then we have to create a animation object here animation equal to animation animation yeah 
and you have to write its name so it will be a string kind of name uh, that we have in our bundle I, uh, it will uh, get this name and the animation from the uh, this directory so we have to copy and paste these json somewhere here and i will check it so these are the json file these are very big json files uh, in terms of text but if we talk about the size then i don't think it will consume so much space it's 16 kb only okay so for the background i'm going to use this json so you have to type this name only not with the extension okay then uh, i will access the background animation view dot animation equal to we will assign this animation that we have created above okay and what you have to do is simply call the play just like this and i'm calling it from the view did load all right so i think we are good to go now let's try to run it just to check if uh, this background view is added or not okay so you can see it is added and it is played for the once and then it will just go goes away so there are lots of thing you can do with it you can play around all the methods it provided there are lots of uh, play methods here okay so we can use uh, this one yeah so in this we can actually uh, track the animation progress from the zero like where it should start from the zero and where it should run so one means at the last okay and the loop mode so how many times you want that uh, animation to run so as you uh, you have seen uh, it runs for the uh, one time and then it got stopped so you can select from here and if you repeat like there are lot uh, these options okay so auto reverse means animation will play forward then backward and loop until stopped so it will be kind of infinite loop means yeah animation will loop from beginning to end until stopped it is also infinite it start from the zero to until one and then again go to zero then until one so it will run infinite uh, there are more options none play ones it will it is i think default one repeat in which i think we can give the count uh, how many time you want that animation to be run like if i select two then it will run for two time and then stop and there is a completion handler so finished if finished then we can print out animation ended else you can print animation cancelled so if this value is false that means our animation has been stopped forcefully uh, before finishing okay so let me try to run it and we can see if it it runs for two times and then stop So the first one, then the second one, and it should not run again. Yeah, and you can also see uh, the log. 
this uh, block is called animation ended all right and if i run it in the loop then it will run for the infinite time until it is stopped manually and in this case none of this uh, completion will be called because it is not going to stop anywhere until we stop it manually okay all right so now add the second one i will copy this and paste it here it will be the success animation view you can give it any name and uh, i think we need it i don't think we need this constraints because we want width and height uh, height of this view so i'm giving it a constant 150 width and we can also use the same for the height and i also want this view to be in the center center of the view sorry center x anchor constraint equal to view dot center x is active equal to true and similarly for the y anchor so i will change x to y yeah like this and then we will write the same thing for this success view play success animation and for the su success we have the different json uh, that is check ok done animation is the same and we have to change this view here and it is also going to run in the same manner so we will run it after the background animation let's try to run it yeah you can see it is working fine and the main idea behind implementing this lottie animation is you can easily and quickly implement multiple animations in your application you can find lots of uh, different animations here uh, that you can easily integrate in, uh, in your applications and uh, it will you know makes lots of uh, differences in your application when you have this kind of cool animations right so give me a thumbs up in my video and uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, and kindly share it with your friends so they can also have a look on this and uh, thanks thank you so much for watching my video